How's it going? Dave Simpson Carpentry and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the blades in Nikita's electric planer. Right, so you're always going to want to make sure that it is unplugged, you don't have the lead plugged in, or if you've got a battery one, you've got the battery taken out. So just going to roll it over and start by taking out these hex head screws. The Makita box should come with this part here, which is the perfect size to take it out. If not, you'll just need a hex head bit to get it out. So you're going to take your little screws out. And then this little plate in here, this safety plate, should just come out nice and easily. You're going to try slide your old blade out, which should just pop out like that. And these other plates here should also just come out quite easily. There you go, you got one side of it out. Keep in mind, you will have your other side in here too. So you want to spin it around if you need to replace both blades and take this side out as well. I hit it now with this blade and it's shattered in the middle and that's why I'm replacing my blades today. So you should get this little jig, little bench in your planer box. Make sure you hold on to it because it will be very helpful when you're changing your blade around. It's going to chuck that down on a flat level surface and I'm going to grab one of my blades and put them down, flat side down and hard up to the shoulder of the setting block. With that sitting there, I'm going to grab one of these clamps, loosen the screws enough so that we got movement in this clamp here. See there's two little grooves, one there and one there, and the hollow side of the blade will sit nicely into them. So we'll sit this onto our blade, push the blade hard into the shoulder of our setting block, and then we'll put this clamp in hard up to the side of that block. Then we're going to tighten our screws up while that's all hard together and that sets this up to be the right size. I'm then just going to move this out of the way, chuck my other blade up there. I'm going to grab my other bit, loosen it up, chuck it on and repeat the exact same process. So now we're going to install our little blade into the planer. And what we're going to do is turn it around until we've got this edge here and we're just going to put it on flat along the edge of that right there. So with your blade sitting there, You'll get this piece that we just tightened before and we'll put it on the blade how it sat when it was in that setting block. There's a little ridge at the back here as well and that little tension a bit should sit straight down into that ridge. What you want to do is make sure it's evenly spaced from both sides and make sure your blade isn't going into either side where it's going to hit your tool upon rotating. Once that's all sitting there nice and well, you've got to grab your clamp that you took off earlier and slide that on over the top. And we'll grab our hex head screws and we'll screw these back on, holding it into place. Or tightening it completely, I'm just going to check that blade once again is not sticking out on either side, which it doesn't look like it is, so that I'm going to comfortably tighten them up. Once you've tightened your hex head screws, this little dial around here, you want to manually rotate your buzzer plane around just to make sure that you put the blade in the right, it's not hitting either side. You don't want to turn it on and immediately ruin your brand new blade. So there you go, that one there is in and it's working nicely. I'm now going to spin it around to this flat side here, grab my other blade and repeat the process exactly the same. And there you go, you've got your new planer blades in and you're ready to start buzzing once again. I hope you found this video to be useful, if you did please leave a thumbs up I'll catch you guys next time.